right, so let's look at chapter 15 questions that have to do with multiplication and independent and dependent events. So let's see if I can get to the next one. Wow, probably not. So we're going to look at the multiplication with independent and dependent events for chapter 15. So we'll start by looking at number 17. So number 17 a right here was looking at the idea of three cards. The first one has no hearts. Well, the probability of no hearts is 39 out of 52 because 39 of the cards are not hearts. I know that since 13 are, so the remaining must not be. The next card picked is going to be 38 out of 52 since there is now one less card that's not a heart and there's now only 51 cards in the deck. The third card picked is going to be my heart. Finally, I get a heart. There's 13 full hearts there since one hasn't been picked before, and now there's 50 cards. I multiply all those and get 14.53. The next one asks for uh, three reds in a row. It's that same idea of each time I pick a card, the number goes down by one number of cards left over. So these are dependent events. So I start with 26 reds, then it goes to 25, then to 24. I multiply all of these because it's a red and a red and a red, and here is my answer. The next one, I've got no spades. So to figure this out, I need to figure out, well, how many spades are there? There's 13 spades in a deck of cards, so no spades. There must be 39 out of 52. And then again, it goes down each time. I multiply all those and I get 41.35%. Uh, now that last problem is definitely the hardest because of this word, at least. So I know that there's a lot of options. I could have one ace, two aces, or three aces. So I'm going to look at the complement. The complement would just be not a single ace. And if I subtract that, what's not happening, if I subtract that from one, I will actually have what I'm interested in. Okay, so I'm doing the complement of the at least, which is none. So I just do one minus no aces. Well, there's four aces in a deck of cards, so 48 would be no aces. And then again, it just drops by one each time. And my final answer is going to be 21.74. Okay, this next problem is very similar here. Number 19, it's almost exactly the same, except this time we've got batteries. So I first outline my situation. I've got seven out of 12 good ones and five out of 12 bad ones. So the probability of getting two good ones, well, the first good one is seven out of 12, and then the numbers drop because it's dependent. There's now only 11 left and only six good ones left. I multiply and there's my answer. Here, this next one, that hard one, B, the at least. Oh my goodness. So that means I could have one work or two work or three works. I'm going to look at the alternative. The alternative is that they're all bad. None of them work. If I subtract that from one, I'll actually be getting my answer of the at least. So I'm doing the complement. So I solve for that. I start with 5 out of 12. Then of course we drop down because they're dependent. Subtract from 1 and my answer is 94.45. The next one isn't quite so bad. I want to pick all four that work. So I start with 7 12s. I drop down each time because they're dependent and I end up with 7.07. .07. The last one, I don't pick a good one till it ends, till the fifth. So that must be a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad, finally a good. So I start with my bad 5 12s. I drop down each time until I get to my fifth one. I actually still have seven good ones. So the top now goes up to seven, but the denominator is at eight because there's only eight batteries left. And my answer is 0.8. 8%. The next uh, slide here, the next problem is number 20. On number 20, it's soccer team. So here we first lay out how many we've got, okay, out of 20. So I'm picking two in a row, and I'm not putting them back in the box, okay? So they're going to be dependent. The first time I pick um, no mediums. So no mediums, that's 16 of them are not medium out of 20. The next number drops because they're dependent to 15 out of 19. Multiply and get my answer. The next one I pick three, no medium, no medium, finally medium. So that no medium starts at 16 out of 20. It drops to 15 out of 19. And then the next one, there are still four mediums, so now it's four out of 18. Multiply, get my next answer. The uh, fourth one is all of them are extra large. There we go. 
start with my first extra large with a 6 out of 10, drop each time because they're dependent events, and end up with 0.31%. The last one, that dreaded at least term right there. Okay, so that means I could have a 1 medium, 2 medium, 3 medium, or 4 medium. Too complicated. Let's think of the alternative. How about just simply no mediums at all and subtract from 1? doing the complement. So 1 minus, no mediums, 16 out of 20 are not medium. I drop each time because they're dependent. Multiply, subtract from 1, and I get 64.44%. Okay, number 25, um, looking at getting, is an, just asking, is ace independent of a suit? So now I have to think about that idea of independence. So when something is independent, it means the probability doesn't change. So I'm gonna look at that. If uh, the probability of ace, given it's a heart, well, the probability of getting an ace when it's a heart is one out of 13. The probability of getting an ace when it's a club, also one out of 13. This will be the same with a spade or whether it's a diamond. It's always one out of 13. So yes, it is independent of suit. I have an equal chance of getting an ace regardless of the suit. The next question is similar to that. It's asking about pets. So it tells me my number of pets. And what I want to know is, are they independent? Is it independent of... Um, gender. So I look at the chance of getting a male for cats. So the chance of getting a male for cats is six, because there's six males, out of 18. That's one third. The chance of getting a male for dogs is eight out of 24, which is also one third. So these two probabilities are the same. That means that it is independent. Dependence is when things change, they're not. That was an example I gave about lung cancer and smoking. So your chance of getting cancer if you don't smoke is different than the chance of getting cancer if you smoke. So that's dependent. These are independent.